Welcome to another DataFart Quick Tip. Today, we're going to learn how to use our specs to highlight the background or text of a value when it's out of spec, just like these brightness and spot count values. Let's jump over to Graphics Designer and take a look. So here I have a blank canvas. I'll go ahead and open Tag Browser and search for my sign tag because I know it's out of spec right now. I'll go ahead and pull this tag in twice so we can look on how to do this for, for both our text highlight and the background. I'll make these larger and close the tag browser. Now we create the alarms. So I'll select my first tag and then in properties, I want to choose what I'm going to address. So in this case, let's start with the background color. Now I have an option of converters or alarms. Converters, if you don't have a limit set up, you can use the converter to manually type in the values, but we've already put in the work and we have our limits in here. So I'll go ahead and add an alarm. And down here, I'll get an alarm section. In this case, we have our tag and we want the value, but our limit source is not gonna be a fixed value. Instead, it's gonna be SQC. So now I can either choose my control or spec limits. This one specifically has control limits. Now up at the top, I can choose what I want the background to do when we're in spec. I'll select orange and that's it. Now I can run this and my value is orange. We can take a quick look at the trend to see if this makes sense. Here's my trend. We will auto scale. and enable limits. Yep, it looks like my 2.7 is out of spec. Now let's do the same thing for the text color. So I'll click on my tag and head over to properties and foreground. And I can actually use this drop down and use my current alarm. So now I can hit plus. I'm using the same settings. So I'll go with a darker orange so it's easier to see and we'll go ahead and test it. So now both of these values are using the control limit instead of manually typing it in. That's all for today. Thanks.